Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's time to leave the Iron Republic and make my way down south to hopefully find the Great Geode and deliver my Sphinx Stone. So, let's see. I think my cargo is completely full, right? Oh, no. I just accidentally let time pass and I think I went through... Yeah, I went through some supplies. Whoopsie. Uh, that's fine. I guess I'll just buy some more fuel. Anyway, let's go. Gonna stick close, very, very close to the coast. Not sure if that's an enemy rowboat there. What? Huh? What? Okay, that was something bad down there. It said crew 40, which is fucking massive. How many hit points does it have? I don't know, but something with a crew of 40 is going to have a lot of hit points. Oh god, dear god, please do not see me. Oh. Yeah, something with a crew of 40 is going to be able to decimate me. Where the hell is this Grand Geode? God damn, I'm getting scared. I'm going to leave my light on. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, come on, where is this grand geode? Please. That thing's powered by the freaking sun. Whoa. Turn off my lights. Okay, I think we're good. This is really freaking scary, because if that thing gets me in its sights, I'm pretty sure I am dead. I see something there on the right. The Grand Geode is some distance to the east. Oh, sweet. Except that's where that boat is. I don't know if that's actually an enemy boat. It might not be, but I think it is. Um, hold on. Can I stop at this port? Oh, shit. What? It sees me? Oh, fuck. Does it see me? God damn, this is really fucking dangerous. They don't ap appear to... Mm. Mm. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, stop, stop, stop. Duh. Go, go. There it is. Just gonna make it to the other side, and that thing's awfully close. If it starts shooting, I'm gonna... Ooh, ooh. Go, fuck it. Go, go. It's got 300 hit points. Not even gonna deal with that. Nope. Oh. Alright. Do I pull in here? Yeah. Oh. I'm just thinking about the fact that I have to actually get out of here. Those boats have 300 hit points. 300 and a crew of 40. Oh boy. Alright. They better pay me more than 500 for this. More like two freaking thousand or something. <sighs> a naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems. Curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They're singing. Hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been defaced with orange paint but you can still make out the original inscription. Station 5, Adjunct. Station 5? I already encountered, what was it, Station 3? 
that creepy place that was completely deserted. All right, well, here's your goddamn Sphinx Stone, and you better reward me handsomely. Deliver the Sphinx Stone. The Bright-Eyed Sequencer sent you here. Another equally bright-eyed Quartermaster awaits you and your stones. The stones? Marvelous. The bazaar is the enemy of our light. It's the enemy of anyone with eyes, too. Nasty, greedy, tentacled thing. Well, our light will sort it out. You'll see. Because you have eyes. And wonderful eyes they are, too, if I might say so. The stone of yours will help, and we reward those who help us. Here, a bundle of banknotes. Here, a monograph on perception. And here. She leans forward and kisses you, once on each eyelid. As she draws back, the world is changed. You always knew the Neath was a place where the laws of the sunlit world did not apply. But now, somehow, you can see it. Is this chaos? Or freedom? The Quartermaster direct, directs her laborers to pack up the stone. The Z is quiet. The geode glows like a lamp. How strange. She kissed me on each eyelid. I feel like you can see it. Oh, and it increased my mirror, so it actually increased my sight. Alright. I now have Rising Supremacy the Dawn Machine. You've delivered the last load of Sphinx Stone. Oh god, is it the last one? Please don't be. And, ooh, a thousand. Excellent. That kind of makes it worth it, assuming I actually managed to make it back alive. Damn, gained a secret, gained a mirrors, gained a thousand echo. And apparently I'm playing some part in the grand Dawn Machine thing. I don't know if that's a good thing. What the hell? Look at what that says. Un. The sun, the sun, the sun, the s... And then just stops. Weird. Ooh, I bet this port report is probably going to pay handsomely, too. The Marines are watching. Let's ask to speak to someone in authority. A blank space in your memory. You saw the Commodore, and then... Then there was something bright. You discuss matters of importance, you're certain of it. Teasing clues linger in your memory. A Zailer asked, you, asked to stay behind. And you permitted it, because... because... Uh, it'll all come clear later. Probably. Oh god! I just lost a crew member and gained 25 terror. Holy fuck! How in the hell am I gonna make it back alive? Oh Jesus, my people are gonna go crazy. They're gonna refuse to start the engines, I'm gonna get caught by one of those massive beastly ships. Oh boy. Oh boy. And there's no shops. They really are very secretive here, huh? I guess they're trying to protect their dawn machine. Okay. Let me see if there's anything nearby. The Dawn Machine is some distance to the southwest. Oh, so this isn't actually the Dawn Machine? Or is it? No, I think it might just be telling me about this place. I don't know. Or it could be down here. Um, either way, I don't want to go any further. And I don't think I want to go back to the coast because I know that there's a bunch of enemies there. So I think I might just go straight north and try to get back to the Iron Republic. I want to get back to London. And, yeah, I need to leave my lights on because I'm, my terror is incredibly high. So, yeah, L let's go straight north to the Iron Republic, try to restock on fuel there, and try to avoid anything. Full speed ahead. I am scared.
fog. Whoa, whoa, what? What? Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Thankfully, that thing is really massive, which means it's not very fast. Oh, okay. Okay, we're fine. Oh, God. This is the terror. Azela has run mad. She roams the ship, cudgel in hand, smashing comrades to the deck. She cries. He's angry. Oh, he is angry. Uh. She's already killed one man. Wait, did she already kill one of my Zaylers? Fuck. The best chance thing to do is just to shoot her. That's high risk, that's 45% chance. To try to capture her alive. Hmm. No, I'm sorry, you've gotta go. Your Zaylor's weapons roar and down she goes. You recite a hasty funeral for the poor soul and her wretched victim. But who will be next? Lost Storm's attention. Lost two crew. Alright. Not terrible. At least my uh, terror didn't go up anymore. Surprisingly, that massive ship only did, what was it, 13 damage? Yeah, it only did 13 damage to me. I guess I should just buy a shit ton of fuel, because it's cheaper than what I'm going to get in London. Yeah. Don't want to... I don't want too much. I mean, I do want some cargo hold room, but I'm going to burn quite a bit of it, so... I'll get up to 16. Can I take another port report? I don't think I can. Nope. Oh, wait a minute! I have 75 terror. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I need 70 terror to be able to, uh, listen. <laughs> Great. I guess it might be a good thing. See what happens. Your fears line up on the quay, waiting, waving like old lovers. As you touch the dock, your fears leap fondly into your waiting arms. They dissolve, gather the oily scraps they left. The higher your terror, the more fragments you've received. Damn. So at least you could compensate it in some way for being incredibly afraid. 72 fragments. Cool. All right, let's do this thing. Gained one terror, <laughs> whatever. 75 to 76. The important thing is that now I can do this. And, hmm. Okay, so these things that appear to be free, I think the reason they're free is because they don't actually have them in stock. Apparently. Could buy some parabola linen. Hmm. I could buy enough to satisfy that quest. How much would it cost? The quest needs, what, seven and I have two, so I need five? I don't know if it actually says. Yeah, I don't believe it actually says here exactly how many I need. But I'm pretty sure I need seven and I have two, which means I need five. And 5 times 57, well, let's just simplify that. 5 times 50 is 250. Make that like 270, so about 270 to complete that quest. Is it worth it? I have no idea what he'll give me. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, there's only one way to find out. So, three, four, five, six, seven. Still gonna leave me enough money to hire some more Zailers and buy the engine, so... And I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get some money for it. Your loan supplies, once you run out, your crew will begin to starve. You can buy more in certain ports. Holy shit, I didn't realize it was so low. And they don't sell any, do they? They don't. Okay, we need to go, now. Before my people starve. It's okay. We kill that we kill that woman who went crazy. We can just eat her body. Cannibalism. I think cannibalism would probably be one of the least strange things to happen in this world. Kind of want to get near that to see if I can get points for discovering it, but I think it might just suck me up into a black hole and I'll disappear forever. I'll make it no problem. At least I'll make it here no problem. I'm not actually entirely sure if I can buy supplies there. I'm gonna stick a little bit close to shore. Looks like I can listen for surface gossip again. I now have a vision of the surface. Daylight. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long moored ships. Here you trade stories with suntan surface sailors. Stories of Paris and Batavia. The Lost Fires in the Final Isles. Visions of the surface, far above, the sun remains. In Venderbite, they're always eager for news of the surface. Hmm. Okay, you do sell supplies. I'm just gonna buy one. Because it'll be plenty for me to get back up to London. And in fact, I'm going to turn off my damn lights because when I get to London, my terror is going to be re reset to 50 anyway. So, screw it. I just hope all my sailors don't, like, jump off <laughs> in terror. Ooh. I see food. Come on, charge the guns! Oh, I missed. It's fine. Well, we got two, so let's just dissect this one. Gain a fragment. Food.
think I already stopped at Quaker's Haven, didn't I? I believe I did. I think killing enemies actually decreases your terror. Because this was at like 70 and then it was at low 60s when I killed a couple crabs and now it's at 59. Okay. Wow. We finally made it back to London. Whew. What's going on? Sure, check my holds. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Ah, this is the thing that's going to reset my terror. A breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller. Smile more readily. But what dreams may cling? Ah. 50. Which is still pretty bad, but not horrible. Hmm. If it's high. However, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Uh oh. That's not good. Messages. Alright. Got a bunch of things to do. Let's see. Let's hire some more people. Let's turn in my port reports. Baker's Haven. A little bit of fuel, tiny bit of money, not much. Cumian Canal. Almost nothing of significance, just five echo. Iron Republic. This one should be more significant. Excuse me, I need to unlock this. And this. Oops, and this. Could you place your report inside? Yes, I imagine someone will read it, eventually. There's always someone. Wait. This is blank. Yes, both sides. No, no, I assure you. No, I know these things happen in the, in the Republic. Consider this an ex payment to cover your costs. Okay, I don't know what the hell any of that meant, but uh, apparently it wasn't worth that much. This one, however. This one better be worth a hell of a lot. Grand Geode. The Grand, yes. Yes, of course. We're generally quite well informed on that topic, but since you're here, perhaps you may as well let us know what your own impressions were. The Admiralty officially takes notes scrupulously. Uh, sorry, the Admiralty official takes notes scrupulously, but with an expression of mild terror, like a novice vivisector wincing with a scalpel. The rest of the office studiously busies themselves with other tasks. Gain favor? Just ten echo and one fuel? Man. Hard to please. Let's, um, turn in my move in the great game. Gain a favor, 30 echo, nice. Okay, that's it for that. Let's see, what else to do? I don't think I want to repair my hole. Not at 60. Not quite low enough. Don't think it's worth it. Um, oh yes, we have this to turn in, don't we? <laughs> Good, I remembered correctly. I did need seven parabola linen. Alright, here you go. Uh, let's see. Okay, none of that text is new. Lost the bales, gained 700 echo. Ooh, that is totally worth it. So I, ga uh, I gained two bales of linen from, I think, just killing, like, pirate ships and stuff. 
so basically free, and then the rest I paid about 274. So yeah, I gained like three or four hundred echo out of that. Nice. In fact, I could even make that a trade route, couldn't I? I mean, if he still wants more linen, I could go back and forth and back and forth. Not that I actually want to go back down there with my current ship. No, it's way too fragile. But it's worth keeping in mind. Let's see. It's got some new quests for me. Seven lamentable relics. Or seven sacks of dark drop coffee beans. Hmm. Looks like it comes from the south, which is where I just came from, but I don't really want to go back there. 500 echoes for seven skulls. Okay. Let's catch up on the news. Gain supplies, nice. I do believe it's time to buy a new engine. Or, hell, could I even afford a new ship? I don't think I can. What's the one I wanted? It was this, right? 3,000 Echo? Yeah, I can't afford it. Nah, but I am going to buy a new engine. Alright, so this is my current one, engine power 800. Let's go ahead and get this one. Or I could save up a little bit more and buy this one. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to spend all my money. I want a little bit of a buffer. Yeah, let's grab it. Sell my old crappy one, I suppose. <laughs> Ten freaking Echo. I can sell the entire engine for my ship for the price that it takes to, like, go for a night on the town. I mean, if going for a night on the town costs as much as the engine in your ship, something's wrong. Oh, baby. It'll be pretty damn fast after that. Alright, I need to buy supplies. Plenty of fuel. Yeah, I think seven should be fine. I'm really wondering where I'm going to go, though, because it sounds like I can't really transport any more Sphinx Stone. Also, I don't even have the cargo room for it. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can clear up some cargo rooms. So, I got a bunch of this stuff. The Harlot Fry and the Stygian Ivory. Uh, let me see if... The alarming scholar is interested. No. Ah, but there's the extraordinary implication. Nice, 250 echo, two fragments. Hmm, I have a searing enigma. Uh, how did I get that? I don't remember how I got a Searing Enigma. But I guess I'll give it away. Oh my god, a thousand Echo. <gasps> I feel freaking rich. I'm actually not that far away from being able to buy a new ship. 3,000 for that new ship. Hmm. I guess I could have bought the better engine. But no, that would have been silly. I mean, having a, a crappy old boat with an incredible engine just makes no sense. It's like, look at the beautiful leather interior of my car. And the thing's like a two horsepower rust bucket. Like, what's the point? Kind of gotta upgrade the whole thing rather than make one part amazing and then everything else crap. Just doesn't really make much sense. 
So, no, I'm still pretty happy with my engine choice. Hmm. I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, where do I go? Back to see if I can transport more Sphinx Stone? Well, let me see how fast I am with this new engine. Is this actually faster? It's hard to tell. Is it? It should be almost twice the speed. Is this twice the speed? I, I can't really tell. Hmm. I think it is actually considerably faster. Let's go ahead and reduce my terror. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the Salt Lions and... Yeah, just see if I can actually transport stuff. Although, again, I don't have the room. Yeah, I don't have room. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to stop by there and just see if I can, even though I don't have room. And I'm just going to keep going east, I guess. Probably just stop on by and then just keep going. And I've got a considerable amount of fuel. Oh, hi. It's going to be a real test of my speed, I suppose. Gonna get me, Jilly Floor. Port report. Pick over the encampment. Yeah, so the Sphinx Stone thing is just completely gone. Can't do it anymore. From time to time, some entrepreneur attempts to continue the disassembly of the Salt Lions. It never ends well, but perhaps they left something. Remnants. A barrel of Murgatroyd's Fungal Crackers. <laughs> a sack of Coke. A tear-stained Bible. An odd slick of blood. Take what you can and leave. Fungal Crackers? What in the hell? Ew. Alright, so creepy as hell, gained terror, but also gained fuel and supplies. Hmm. Suppose that was worth it, I guess? Alright, let's go east. Nothing. Oh, there's something. What do you mean there's nothing, Z-Bat? Well, I guess that's not an island. Just an outcropping of rock. Oh, there's a... lighthouse boat. Hello. Would you like to be informed about current happenings? Oh, right, I don't have any more recent news. Sorry. I gotta run. Hmm. 
Still nothing. Ooh. Southeast. Khan's glory. Alright. Let's go. Hmm. Pretty. Oh, wait a minute. I have a feeling that frog might, like, try to kill me. Do you think it would? Ooh. A dream? The Neath. The cavern that holds the Untersea is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps that would explain it. And this entire Untersea is inside of the skull of a dead god. Sleep deeply or listen to the dreams? 20% chance of success? Uh, I guess I'll listen to the dreams. Gain to terror and also a story. Flight. Five Zailers dice for the corpse of a Z-Bat. It is ill luck for a Zailer to kill a Z-Bat. <laughs> yes. I bet it is. One wins it, but in his hand. It becomes a freshly cut surface flower. His fellows cry out in envy and greed. They fall on him. And there comes a great rending of white petals. More petals fall. Obscuring the masts, the ship, the neath, the false stars of the roof. It is very cold. You'll have to set a fire. It's an uplifting dream. Beauty destroyed. Greed. That thing's got a hell of a lot of eyes. Nupmit built this place as a prison for the Kanate. Now it answers only to its governor, and its governor answers to no one. Oh, the shady cook wants to go ashore. And he says, He says dangerously, Let me sh What? I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to say. I have a feeling like I have a feeling he's gonna leave me forever. But given that he only gives me plus one hearts and he's dirty and disgusting and he prepares our food, I'm gonna say go ahead. A warm welcome. Oh yes, the unctuous fellow assures you. We value enthusiasm over formal qualifications. The not oracles are always hungry. But they're also delicate in their tastes. Their meals must be prepared assiduously. Or assiduously. I understand this fellow is endangered to you. Well, we have collected tremendous stores of knowledge from the oracles. Tremendous. Let me give you some of my notes. And we will, of course, replenish your stores. Thank you so much. The cook darts eagerly into the prison as soon as the doors are opened. He doesn't even say goodbye. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, why did he want to go so bad? I... Why, he, he just walked to his death. He's going to be freaking cooked. The cook is going to be cooked. That is incredibly ironic. Alright, well, we gained a shit ton of stuff. Five Z stories, five tales of terror, five memories of distant shore, a move in the great game, five visions of the surface? What? Five supplies? Lost my dirty ass cook? Five fuel, one strategic information, one secret? That is amazing! I don't even know what to do with that stuff.
Unlocked with one prisoner. Oh my god, if I can find prisoners... I have no idea how I'd actually find them, but... If I can take prisoners aboard, I can freaking sell them. That is kind of amazing. Well... I wonder what the Admiralty is going to think of this place. Let's compile a report. Not so many goings. <laughs> Lots of comings, not so many goings. Ships from the Canate are most common, but you see Chelonite vessels, Polythrem Trirum. What the hell? Polythrem Triremes. Triremes. That is incredibly unpleasant to say. It's like rural. Triremes. Okay, let me try this again. You see Chelonite vessels, Polythrem Triremes with chained and sulky unfinished men, Corsairs disposing of their miscreants, even one furtive Ever Arimi Skiff. The wardens pay them well for their prisoners. What is this? Unlocked with four crew. Costs four crew? Ugh. And it's a high-risk challenge. A 12% chance of success, I can rescue prisoners. Scale the walls, enter through the outflow pipes. Evade the guards. Secure your rescuee without raising any alarms. Don't get eaten by giant toads. You'll only get one chance at this. It's unlikely to be profitable unless you have someone specific in mind. Okay, so unless I add, like, a quest event, then I don't think there's any reason to do that. Let's go south and find... Uh, what was it? There's something south. Also, the Sea of Lilies is to the north. Wait, isn't this the Sea of Lilies? I mean, it is a sea and there are lilies. Oh yes, secrets. Uh, let's speak to you, because I've actually never spoken to you. All's well, Captain. Did you need something? Oh, I need coffee to dine with her. I can increase my iron, though. Oh man, I've got seven secrets. I think I should spend it. Hmm. It says it might hurt. You can't choose this option if badly wounded. You ready for this? It might hurt. Uh, I don't know if I want to get badly wounded when I'm at sea. No thanks. What about you? Increase my veils? I would not mind that. What about you? Wouldn't mind increasing my hearts either. Let's go ahead and do that twice. And, given that I have so many supplies... Let's chat about science. The nature of nature. Sunlight is, in certain senses, literally, quite literally, law. Without sunlight, the Earth would spin off into space. And the absence of sunlight down here means the absence of a dozen laws. Death operates unreliably. Though more reliably on the Z, as you know. The geography is uncertain and shifting. And dreams dreams. He had grown animated. Now he seems distracted. He apologizes and composes himself. It uh, was a particular interest of mine. Luminosity. The anatomy of the eye. The many liberations of night. Uh, excuse me, this gruel is a little too rich for my tastes. I now have an intriguing snippet. Well, the haunted doctor certainly seems, uh, haunted. Oh, here it is. Where do I pull in? 
I think it's probably there, actually. I think I've... Whoa! Whoa! Nope. 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 How am I still in combat? Khan's glory. This isn't like an enemy place, is it? This isn't an enemy place, is it? Like, these boats aren't gonna go attack me? Can, can I actually do something here? What's, what's going on? Okay, no, I'm fine. A place of stately isolation. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belted robes breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized gimbals. They've got a freaking antelope? Well, that is rather unlikely. a lot of stuff that I can't do. Hmm. Wait, I can't even compile a port report? Cruise past the clan palaces. Khan glory? Uh, Khan's glory has a steely beauty. But the clan lords are ever suspicious of spies. And those gun emplacements are vigilant. Hmm. Eighty-eight percent chance. That's good, but what if I fail? Do I get blown up by the many, the many big gimbaled weapons around here? Eh. I succeeded. Thank God. Light blazes from every gate and window. You glimpse guards in gleaming uniforms. Subterranean gardens of. Mauve? Mauve? Something like that in purple. Hanging ornaments of scaled carnelian and jade. Statues of warrior Khan's past. The water is dark and calm. The sentries watch you with calm distrust. Apparently I've slightly gained the Kaganian suspicion. Lost terror somehow. And, huh, I thought, that, I thought that would give me a port report, but it didn't. I don't think that was worth it. That's weird, I can cruise past again, but... Wait, there's no chance? Oh, no, I can't do it, okay. That's weird, this place is huge, but there's like nothing for me here. I can't even compile a port report. Hmm. Lots of little things around here though, I think I want to keep exploring. And doing good on fuel, doing good on supplies. Yeah, I don't really have any particular reason to turn back now. Alright, well, I think I'm going to continue to explore around here, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.